Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thanks for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. Today is Monday, April the 8th, and a very significant celestial event is happening today. It's going to be a total solar eclipse. And I've been doing some reading up on radio propagation regarding this type of event, and I'm absolutely fascinated by some of the things that I've been reading about. So I thought it would be very cool to come out to the park with a QRP rig, in this case my trusty Yaesu FT817, and see what, uh, what sort of effects I can monitor from the field here, and potentially even if I can make some spectacular contacts. So this is the station I've got set up. Currently I've got my Yesu. It's going to be set at 5 watts RF output. I've got a 6 amp hour talent cell battery here. Um, in addition to that I've got my uh, typical Yesu stock mic and there's a soda beam speech compressor plugged into it. Now let me show you what's going on at the antenna. Okay, I'm out here at the base of my DX wire 50 foot telescopic mast and today's antenna is going to be a 15 meter J-pole. You heard me right, a 15 meter J-pole. I never uh, had any experience with an antenna like this. My friend Tom, VA3 WBA has actually built one and uh, it will be profiled in a separate video. Now I'm just going to go up the mast a little bit here and you'll be able to see a choke in the feed line and up a little bit further is the feed point and there is twin lead which then runs up all the way to a radiator wire at the end of the mast way up there. Total overall length is something on the order of about 30 feet. So just to give you a little bit more information on the event, I have heard that during the moment of the total eclipse, and it's starting, like, you know, I can actually, a couple things, first of all, they were calling for overcast weather here. But as you can see, it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day. So, you know, I got really lucky. What I've read is that during moments of the total solar eclipse, the HF bands can produce amazing openings to different parts of the world, more, uh, more extreme DX if you will. I, I'm a QRP guy at heart, so I thought it would be really interesting to get on with 5 watts with my little Yesu FT817 and see what I can do. Now I'm cutting it a little bit short because we've got to be getting pretty close to the, uh, to the point of the eclipse. But just to give you an idea, I chose 15 meters. 15 meters, uh, according to the propagation reports, is going to be open today. And of course, it's a very cool band. Uh, you know, a lot of people flock to 10, a lot of people flock to 20. Uh, 15 just seems to be in that, that gray zone for activity, which means that, you know, you, you may not have the crush of operators on there. And I'm kind of hoping I run into a situation where I can hear somebody from a distant land uh, on a less crowded band come back to him because it's less crowded he'll be able to hear me go through. So that's my plan and as you can see I mean, we're getting really close. Now I have to be on the air at the moment of the total solar eclipse uh, in order to, to actually uh, take advantage of this because as soon as the eclipse is over all of this fascinating propagation goes away. So it's about time that I, oh crap, I guess I should have bought that Bluetooth module. 